Good morning. Welcome back. This is the um, Gospel Track Challenge. Challenging myself almost every day to upload Gospel Track. I haven't in a couple of days with things going on. But, but, I want to show you this one. This is the hashtag YOLO. It says what happens after YOLO, meaning you only live once. And it says, YOLO, you only live once. This is said by people every day. It is tweeted with a hashtag on Twitter, hashtag YOLO. It is actually stated in scripture and as appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Hebrew 9.27, let's see where you will spend eternity after YOLO, you only live once. According to God's standard, the Ten Commandments, have you ever told a lie, ever stolen anything, hated someone? Jesus, call hate, Jesus calls hatred murder. Matthew 5.22 Ever use God's name carelessly? That is blasphemy and is a very serious offense. Will you be innocent? Okay, so the very it says, That is blasphemy and is a very serious, serious offense. You can look that up in Exodus 20 verse 7. Will you be innocent or guilty? Heaven or hell? God does not want you to go to hell. 1 Timothy 2 verse 4 and Peter 3, verse 9. 2,000 years ago, God sent his only son, Jesus, to earth. Jesus, being fully God and fully man, lived a perfect life, fulfilled the law, and then willingly became the perfect sacrifice to the sin, perfect sacrifice for the sin of the whole world. He died on a cross to pay for your sin. That's 1 John 2, 2. Jesus rose from the dead, defeating sin, death, and the, and the devil. God commands all people everywhere to repent because he has set a day when he will judge the world. Acts 17, 30, and 31. If you repent and believe the gospel, then God will forgive all, forgive all your sins and give you eternity, give you eternal life. Mark 1, 15, John 3, 36. YOLO, then eternity. So I want to add something to this. Imagine you are like you get a speeding ticket, right? And you go in front of the judge, and the judge goes, "Well, did you, um, you know, it says that you ran, uh, you got a speeding ticket. Are you innocent or guilty?" And you're like, "Well, that was me yesterday. I'm, I'm innocent." And the judge goes, "No, actually, you're not innocent. You know, you are guilty. That's what's gonna happen when we die. We're gonna be judged by God." Every thought, ev like literally every thought, every moment that we do with our life, every action, everything, everything that he told us and called us to do, we didn't go through with it. He's going to judge us for it and all that. But while you're sitting there in, in, in the court and he goes, no, you are, you know, the judge says, nope, you're, and you're guilty. And you're like, man, now I got to go to jail. I got to pay this ticket. But then the judge goes, somebody paid your ticket anyways. Like, you don't know this person. This, this person paid for it before you even came to court. You know, I just needed you to confess that you did or didn't do it. And, you know, you confess and your sins are forgiven. I think it's super cool. And he lets you out, you know, that by paying your sins. You don't have to go to jail. You don't have to pay the penalty of the speeding ticket. And I just think that's so cool. So, if you want to get right with the Lord, I call it the ABC method, but it's like repenting. It's A, admitting, B, believing, and C, confessing. So, basically, you admit that you're a sinner and that you need God. This is why you pray to God and you just ask Him. And then B is believing fully in the gospel, repeating everything about the gospel that God... That God sent his only son, Jesus, through a virgin Mary, who went and took the, literally took our spot on the cross, taking all the lashings, all the beatings, and he died upon that cross for our sins, went to the tomb, and rose three days later, and he's going to be coming back. That's believing, believing in the gospel, and then see us confessing, it's confessing that you need God that you need him in every walk of the way and you need Jesus his son 
mean repenting repent and the abcs so i love you guys if you watch this all the way through give it a thumbs up if you want to send this video to somebody that you feel that needs to hear the gospel and you just you you don't want to feel like you're gonna break relationships by you yourself preaching to them because i get it it's hard to preach to the ones that we love but you can definitely send this video i love you guys and i'll see you next time bye